Almost three months after crude oil began spewing into the Gulf of Mexico, BP's broken well has been fitted with a tight cap. The deep water operation to stop the gush hasn't been declared a success just yet and it's not a permanent fix. Seabed drilling is still underway to create two relief wells which should put an end to the environmental catastrophe. Karen Barlow reports. With the use of robot submarines, the runaway deep water oil well has gone from free flowing to capped with a device called Top Hat 10. Underwater cameras aren't showing the top of the new cap, which still needs hours of tightening and integrity testing. And stopping the oil flow too quickly could cause more problems. You could overpressurize the pipe and cause it to explode, causing mini leaks along the pipe. This is a 68-tonne industrial jigsaw puzzle of pipes and valves prior to it being installed. It's a larger, tighter cap than the previous one, which still allowed oil to billow into the Gulf. All or almost all escaping crude will now be captured and sent to ships on the surface. So the two options that are very good coming out of this, one we could shut the well in, the other one is that we could produce uh, the total amount of oil that's coming out of the well. After false starts and numerous problems since the initial accident, which killed 11 people, hopes are pinned on the cap working well. They make so many mistakes, I'll, I'll be happy to see them at least cap it so we know what we got in the water. Right now it's blowing out so much oil that we, nobody knows what it is. They, uh, they're trying. It's a big mistake there, but they're trying, I guess. While a significant step, the new cap is just a stopgap. BP's two relief wells are very close to intercepting the leaking well deep under the seabed. From there, heavy drilling fluid and concrete will be poured, hopefully sealing it. BP has told a presidential commission hearing that the company has brought in a specialist to oversee the operation. He's done 40 relief wells and he's been successful 40 times. I want him, his record to be 41 mm -hmm. out of 41. As the engineers close in on plugging the oil leak, the sad legacy is the massive habitat destruction that'll keep cleanup crews busy for years to come. Karen Barlow, Late Line.